Hello everybody and welcome to Main Assembly. This is a new game. It's not even out yet, but it's going to be coming out soon this year. It's a fun little robot building game. Uh, there's programming involved, there's challenges involved. I actually know nothing about this game yet, but the developers were kind enough to send me a copy to check out before the big release. So let's go ahead and play through the tutorial and see what's up. This is an olive staff announcement. Simulation ID DPT-01 is now loaded. AI drone is coming online. Oh, that's a nice painting on the wall. Drone movement, use WASD. Mouse, WASD, C, space, or gamepad. Gamepad? I can play with a gamepad? I want to try with a gamepad. Oh, I can play with a controller! Why am I allowed to do this? Hello. Glad to see you up and flying. You are expected in the simulation area. Find your way there. I have unlocked the smaller drone doors for you since only humans and controlled robots had access to the normal doors. Oh. What? What? This game can bend and refract light? Look at this. I can see myself in the reflection. It's not a reflection. It's a refraction of light. I can see myself in the in the glass. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> that is cool. Anyway, I'm just gawking over the graphics a little bit. Due to some technical issues, the drone door leading onto the simulation area didn't unlock. But I have taken the liberty of using our super fancy nano printing station in this room to print a simple, already drivable robot. If you dock to that robot, you can drive it through the normal doors. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is the thing that th that's locked. Okay. All right, so let's fly in. We just fly in, fly. Oh, fly up to the bot and press enter. Got it. Let's take this robot for a spin, shall we? Should be fairly easy to get the hang of. Probably. Yeah, just WASD. How does the gamepad uh, drive this then? Look at you go. Yeah, left and right Ready? triggers. Boom. I actually really like. Whoop! <laughs> I actually really like that you can play. Is locked here. Confusing. Undock from your robot and go through the drone door to enter simulation room number three. Oh. Okay. To unpossess the bot, press enter. Can I? Can I do it with the controller? Oh! I figured it out. How did I do it? I think I pressed in both thumbsticks at the same time. <laughs> awesome. I figured out the control. AI drone identified. Welcome. Commencing basic training program. What a very straightforward and very easy tutorial to figure out. Uh, I somehow took way longer to do that than I should have. Anyway, fun with parts. Dock to the bot, get introduced to parts, and place your first docking station. Alright. This is your very first simulation session. Your purpose in this world is to build robots to assist humans and make them thrive. A robot like that consists of three things. Parts, chassis, and programming. This particular simulation focuses on parts. We will have a lot of fun. So go ahead and enter assembly mode. You can do this anywhere you want. I can do it anywhere I want? Well, I mean, I guess it makes sense to do it over here. In front of you, you should now see a simple robot that I have prepared for you. But one thing is missing. The part called docking station. Let's add it. All the parts available to you are stored in a catalog that you can access at any time while you are in assembly mode. Okay, tab. To your left you see a list of categories. The docking station can be found under the drop-down menu called Electronics, and then Controllers. Open that up and select the part called Cool. Now place it somewhere <laughs> on your bot. Alright. Uh, wait, is it really that small? I can place it anywhere on my bot, right? Let's place it, let's place it back here, like, uh... Well, okay, I don't know. How do I rotate apart? 
Oh, there we go with the scroll wheel. Okay. Let's um Let's drive sideways. Great. Back out from park placing mode. Back out from right. All right. Place. Since this robot has four drive motors placed already, all the programming has been done for you under the hood. So we don't have to worry about that right now. Cool. Let's print this bad boy. All right. Print your new bot by pressing enter. So just enter from build mode. Awesome. I will let you drive around for a bit. Does when print. you feel ready, proceed to the parking area and I will go ahead and rate your performance. Drive to the parking area. Oh, that's just ahead. Okay. Whoa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Did it. Welcome back. Eager to learn, are we? Great. Let's explore parts a bit more. Go ahead and enter the assembly mode again. Okay. Assembly As mode. You can see I have prepared a new robot for you. But this one is missing yeah. something else. Oh, look at this Let's windshield. Let's see if you can figure out how to finish this robot. Um, I'm sure I can figure it out. Especially since my screen tells me. Wheels. Uh... Heck yeah, we're going large. Large racing wheels. <laughs> this looks so goofy. I don't know. Let's just go medium. Medium standard. Just like this. Wow. Look at you. All smart. What? Good job. If you by any reason don't like the wheel that you placed, you can always delete it and select a new one from the catalog. Print this one and see if it works. Select a part with something and press... What to delete it? <laughs> it didn't actually show me. Print your new bot by pressing... Okay. Yahoo. Yes. Fantastic. Just as we did before. Drive around and have fun. When you feel like moving on, just drive up onto the parking area again and we will move on. There we go. I just had to explore a little bit. So, the last level then, I guess I already moved on to the second level of this tutorial sequence. Last level, I could have go- ah, blah, blah. I remember uh, it said something about like poking all the dummies, so I just didn't bother to explore around last time. Uh, you can press backspace to respawn your bot and try again. Press B to go directly to- Ah, uh, no, it's just backspace. There we go. Yeah, we can just drive straight, straight to the end now. Whee! Whoa, 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 whoa. Um... <laughs> I am extremely impressed with Found your a hole performance on the this far. You spherical marvel. Your recent Aww, results were spherical beyond my expectations. And that is not a statement I make lightly. For this last one, I will let you do it all from scratch. I will try not to disturb you while you are in your creative bubble. So... Go ahead and assemble a new robot and then just print it when you think it's drivable. I hope you didn't fall asleep. Don't forget to enter assembly mode to build on your robot. <laughs> alright, alright, I'll get to it. Just a friendly reminder from a friendly voice. The catalog is where all the cool stuff can be found. <laughs> uh, what a charming tutorial. Um, why does this look like a lawnmower? Does this want me to build a lawnmower that badly? Let's do that. We're building a lawnmower. Drive motor. The motor and suspension are a single piece. Drive motor small. Small motor for driving. Suspension, yes. Steering, yes. Anti-spin, yes. Well, I don't know how big these things are, so let's just go with the small one. And when you want to drive that cool thing you are working on, just go ahead and print it. Alright, I think that's it. Right? Wait, does it even have steering? Or is that all automatic? How does this work? Print your new bot by pressing Absolutely enter. glorious. Now you are a master of parts. It Makes totally has a blade happy. underneath. It is when a lawnmower. You satisfied, you know where to go. Okay, what I don't understand is how this car knows how to steer. How, which, how did, I mean, I guess it's like already mostly pre-built. 
But I thought I was the one that added the uh, the wheels and the drive motor. All right, so can I actually cut the grass? It doesn't look like it. I'm supposed to push this guy in. There you go. Show dummy the depths. Uh, poke all dummies. There's three dummies? Okay. No, avoid all checkpoints. Ah, oh, I touched the checkpoint gate. All right, well, I'll have to come back for that one later then. But this dummy. Let's go get this. Let's go get this guy. <laughs> all right. Just give him a little. Oh, look how happy he is. I've never seen a crash test dummy look so happy. Let's give him a poke. <laughs> uh, you're right there, bud. A little bit too much to drink. Let's go ahead then and uh, get to the end. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Nice. So that was fun with parts. Really cool chapter in the tutorial. I really like this actually, the way that this game does these tutorials. It makes it really easy to learn how to play this game. So then chassis, chassis, we have four stages. We get into the programming basics, oh boy. Hacker mode on, uh oh. <laughs> All right, so let's go chassis. Oop. All right, so let's go chassis then. Uh, time to shape it up. Welcome back. Now, it's time for us to get creative. The look of your robot will greatly depend on the design of the chassis. You can build and make changes to the chassis using a few simple tools that will be introduced in this section. Let's get started. A chassis consists of three components, plates, frames, and joints. A plate is defined by frames, and a frame oh. is the barb between two joints. Using these three components, Surfaces, you lines, can modify and the vertices. chassis into the design you want. Let's start off by entering assembly mode. So basically, it's telling me that I can create any polygon I ever want, ever. All right, let's do this. B. Try to print this robot and drive it through that doorway. I mean, if you say so. Drive it through this doorway, right? Um, that didn't really work, did it? Let's fix it. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't again. you underestimate me. <laughs> I mean, I got through the door. It worked just fine. Stellar performance. Head over to the parking space to continue. No, I'm not supposed to be here yet. All right, so I'm supposed to do this, drive it through the doorway, but fail instead of um, succeed. That didn't really work. And then Did go it? back. Let's fix it. Hop back into assembly mode again. We need to edit the chassis to get through the door. To be able to make changes to the chassis, you need to isolate it. The click, click the chassis. Click like this. Now, select the blue plate. I thought I did. You can move the selected plate by dragging it in the direction you want. Oh, okay. Really? Mistakes happen, and that's okay. You can always undo them. Try it. You can undo the last action by doing Control Z. If undoing nice. was a mistake, that's okay. You can always redo them. Okay, so it seems like... Wait a second, what? I thought I understood how this movement stuff works. Huh. Okay, so it seems that uh, it's only capable of moving... I, I see, I see. Do you, do you notice that, like, orange grid? That's the movement grid. Okay, so you can only move at two, uh, you can only move in two dimensions at once, and it's relative to where you're looking. So if I'm looking this way, then I can only, I can move it up and down and left and right relative to the direction I'm looking in. But if I look this way, then it's up and down this way, left and right this way. So I can't, I can't try and move it in like three dimensions all at once, but that's actually a good thing. 
keeps it nice and simple. So let's get this just moved in right here. Can't tell you how excited I am right now. Yeah, I'm sure. There we go. Stellar performance. Head over to the parking space to continue. All right, so there's still one objective, which is find the missing present. And I don't know, I don't know exactly what that is. So present is most definitely up this ramp. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, uh, I'm actually stuck. No. Well, okay, I'm gonna look for the present up here. Myself, on my own. Yeah, there it is. I can't collect it. Oh, I gotta I gotta collect it with my vehicle. Come on. You can't like I can't can't get myself unstuck. Get out and push. Urgh, push. Urgh. Wait a second, does that actually work? I don't know. Oh, it worked! Okay, okay. So, I'm gonna go up this ramp backwards then. Because that thing in the front doesn't really like it. <laughs> I'm smiling. <laughs> Collect that present. The missing present. Heck yeah. I like to do, uh, I like to do 100%. Now down to the parking spot. Here we go. Oop. Got it. No! <laughs> got it. Almost got stuck. All right. As I mentioned earlier, a chassis consists of plates, frames, and joints. Cool. Joints can be merged together. Just move one of them on top of the other. This is really easy to do. Try it out for yourself by merging the joints of the yellow frame. Um. Was I was I not supposed to be doing? Where am I doing this? Um, here we go. Joint. No, wait. Joint. There we go. Exciting stuff. Got it. Isn't it? Yes, now actually. Now robot and head over to the parking area to continue. Wait. Wait. How do... Oh, there we go. Wait. Wait, what did I just do? <laughs> what did I just... I merged... Okay. I merged things that... Work. Okay, whatever. All right, so now I'm just supposed to bring it out back to the, uh, the parking spot, right? What is this? What is this? How dare you T-pose in my pre- No! Avoid all dummies was an obje- I didn't even pay attention. Oh, no. <laughs> well, whatever. Now I can get him for T-posing. What a dumb reason to fail an objective. <laughs> oh, there's another one. T-Pose in a... There we go. Make sure we gotta get them all. Alright. So, moving stuff around sure is fun. But to make art, proper art, you need to step up your game. What you need to learn is how to extrude. All right, extrude several times. I'm just gonna do that uh, on the roof. Go ahead and try to extrude the blue plate, or another one. The blue Whichever plate. Whichever one you like. I like blue. All right, we're doing the back. Uh, control while dragging a plate. Ah, oh, beautiful. Great. Look at those shiny new plates that you have created. Using the extrude feature will allow you to build more complex and detailed chassis designs. Feel free to extrude a bit more, if you want to. When you feel done, print, mark, proceed. And remember, you can always undo any action you're not happy with. There we go, that's what I wanted. We're gonna extrude this. 
for some big old guns. Heck yeah. Now my, what is this, an ATV? Now my ATV has some big old honking guns on the top. And now I, oh, oh, I'm supposed to go around and poke dummies, right? Let's actually build a thing to poke them with. And just a little bit farther out. There we go, so now we have a little bit of a pusher in the front to push all the dummies around. Let's do this. I have to admit, I see great potential in you, and that makes me very happy. Aww, well thanks. Poke. Brutally run them over. Ah, they're still happy about it. Alright, now I gotta find two more dummies. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't want to respawn. I want to try and flip myself over. Thank you very much. Oh, 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 yes, no, come on, come on. <laughs> yes, I got it, I got it, nice. I flipped myself back over. Oh boy, it probably would have been much easier just to respawn. All right, now let's find that third dummy. It's probably going to be outside anyway. Whoop. The turning takes a little bit getting used to. <laughs> As you can see, it takes a little bit getting used to. I don't know how to describe it. It's like, it's it's kind of like it's sensitive, but not really. You know, let's pull out my controller again. Oh yeah, steering with the controller is a lot better. Steering, uh, just driving around with a controller is way better than a keyboard. Yeah. All right, so art class is coming to an end, but I have one more thing to show you. The extrude feature is not only applicable on plates, but also on frames and joints. The method is the same, although the results you get will be different, depending on what kind of component you're extruding. For your final assignment, it's time for you to get your hands dirty, figuratively speaking. Think outside the box and make your very own design. I have taught you how to fish. Now, go, fish. Use the move and extrude features you've learned earlier, and build something cool. <laughs> the graduation cool. ceremony will take place by the parking space. Do you like inspirational quotes? My favorite one is, the world is but a canvas to the imagination. It's so deep. Okay. Make it work. <laughs> yeah, no pressure. Remember, there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. Happy accidents that I can use Control Z against. Man, this building system is actually like super Creativity cool. Is intelligence having fun? All right, so let's see then what uh, what we actually have in here. Just large drive motors. Let's just put those in places because uh, they're supposed to be big and heavy, right? Oh, look at that! Look at that! We're gonna instantly um create with the um <laughs> something tells me something tells me this is a bit overkill. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> this is already heavy enough just because of those motors. All right, so let's then let's slap on some gigantic wheels, big old racing wheels. Whoops! Did I just did I just put a wheel on top of a wheel? I did put two wheels. All right, how do I remove a thing then? How do I how do I delete a thing? <laughs> I forgot how to delete. Okay, well these are the extra parts that I had. So let's just delete those. Let's just toss them over here. I don't know. Those will be deleted, I guess. But uh, one thing that I have to do is I have to get this present, right? So let's and then this is going to be my big old pusher thing. 
and this is just, uh, yeah, this is just gonna poke. Is this even gonna work? Like, that's pretty high up. I don't know, let's print this and see. That is so beautiful. You it seems like artist. it should be able to reach. I don't know about you, but my right brain half needs a break. Thankfully, the there we next go. section Got it. is all about the left one. All right, so these engines are actually like super fast. I'm just lightly, lightly tapping, but I do love the big wheels though. Down we go. Man, I'm just like cruising along, not even trying. Got it. Oh boy, finish the chassis chapter. Yeah, that was actually a lot of fun, and I think I'm actually gonna leave it here for today. This game looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun, and I think tomorrow I'm gonna try hopping right into some creative mode. I'm gonna leave the fourth chapter, maybe I'm gonna check it out tomorrow, but I'm really curious about what creative mode looks like, so I think we're gonna be checking out that in the next video as well. So let me know what you think about main assembly down in the comments below. <laughs> All right, well, this game's actually a lot of fun, and I, I'm having trouble putting it down. So why don't you guys let me know what you think about main assembly down in the comments below. You know, I, I just, I probably want to finish the tutorials, and then we'll probably see if we can knock out all these challenges in another video, and then we'll hop right into Sandbox and start creating our own robots. But that's going to be it for today, folks. So thank you guys for watching, and aw, don't be sad, little robot. We'll be back with some more next time. Bye!